Okay, this is just a um, flake of obsidian from Mexico. I'll be using uh, copper or modern tools to make this one. I'll be explaining a little bit as I go. I've been reading quite a bit of material on the subject of lithic technology. It's, it's, uh, it's helped my flit napping, but mainly what I'm doing is trying to understand how other people interpret lithic technology and flit napping so that I can write uh, instructional material to help people with this. Now this obsidian has some natural flaws in it. I think these are I hope it doesn't have any like ash pockets inside, but it does have some cracking. Bottle glass is a lot more consistent. Like this piece here. It's a piece from a uh, unusual bottle with a square bottom. I'll be napping this in another video. But uh, it's very consistent, which will be easier than this piece of obsidian. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, I can't remember now, but I think I've said that I don't like obsidian in a video. I have mentioned it outside of videos. And the main reason why I don't quote unquote like it is because uh, I used to do a lot of thinning from the ends on these arrowheads and it would just snap right in the middle. It's notorious for just snapping. Just as you uh, think that you've got it under control, it'll break in half or the tip will break off or it'll break across the notches. You've got to be very delicate with obsidian, especially when it has imperfections in it. It's not that I don't like the material itself because it's great. I mean, it produces really nice flake scar patterns. And you don't have to use a lot of energy to flint nap it. So I don't dislike the material itself. It's just the. Uh, if I had a choice between obsidian and heat treated stone that's consistent, I'd take the stone any day. Okay, now on this, what I did there was I just basically shaped it so I know where the tip and the base is. It's just regular hammer stone quartzite. There's also an abrader down here that that's part of a grinding wheel. That it's a lot more coarse. It's a lot. Uh, how do I say it? It's not more effective when when uh, abrading, but the hammer stone works well enough. And you know you're not going to over over grind it or abrade it too much with a hammer stone. It doesn't grind nearly as well as this modern stone. And the reason why I say that is if you grind it too much, you'll have to use a lot of force to remove a flick, and that's exactly what you don't want on delicate material like obsidian. So what I normally do is I thin the ends first, and then I'll tackle that big bump in the middle. I don't want you know weight on the outsides to increase the bending stress as I'm working in the middle. So I thin the, the ends out so they'll it doesn't put undue stress in the middle when I'm striking in the middle. If that makes sense. It's another windy day today, so I hope the uh, 
wind does not interfere too much with the microphone. I was going to put a cotton ball or something over the microphone, but I forgot. And I might stop to tape up my fingers here in a little bit. In fact, why don't I do that now? <laughs> 